Hey guys, I got a pointer for people uh, doing 3D printing. Uh, if you really can get your ABS to stick to your build plate, uh, what you can do, what I found out is start off with a layer of uh, PLA because ABS sticks pretty well to PLA, not perfectly, but at least while it's hot, it'll stick. Once it cools down, then it can be removed, but it's not necessary. Um, here's an example of what I did with a, a bottom layer of PLA. ABS stuck really well to it. As you can see, the, the bottom corner uh, on this one stuck a little too well, but was no big deal because uh, if you um, design something and you know you want to print and print it in uh, ABS, um, you can design a thicker bottom. So you can print the extra layer of PLA underneath. Um, once you are, you're done printing, you can just easily remove it and then sand the bottom down to a smooth surface or not if it's not necessary. Um, right now I'm printing uh, in PLA because I have black PLA and uh, orange ABS. Um, another way to do it to make it stick is of course with the uh, the acetone trick. Uh, just put some acetone in a, uh, on, a, on, a, on a dish or something, and uh, or on a plate, and then uh, put an old an old fail print of ABS in there. That'll dissolve, and then you'll get this kind of acetone ABS slurry that you can uh, smear over your build plate, and that sticks really well. Uh, but since I don't have any acetone right now, I tried this and this works actually just as well. So uh, This layer is almost done, so when this layer is done I'll pause the print, lower the bed and uh, change, uh, or not lower the bed, change the, the filament uh, to the ABS. And I'll get right back to it when I'm back to printing. So. Now I've changed out the filament, so now I'm printing ABS over this PLA surface. And as you can see it just sticks like crazy. That lump you see on the edge is where I, uh, where the print head stopped when I uh, changed the filament. So it's got a little bit of extra material over there, but it's no big deal. It'll. Uh, I'll just cut it off when uh, when this print is done. So uh, I'll just let it go, and I'll uh, I'll get back to you in a couple of minutes when uh, when the print's uh, a lot bigger. So uh, well, after about uh, 40 minutes of printing, uh, it's gotten up to this point, and still it all looks really good. So. Yeah, that proves that it works. Uh, when it's totally done, I'll uh, show you the finished uh, product. So uh, this is going really well, and uh, I don't expect any problems at all. So still pretty perfect. See, and a single piece is warped. Nothing, nowhere. So. Temperature settings I use for this uh, for this mode of printing is uh, 235 degrees for the nozzle and uh, 60 degrees for the bed because it's just PLA, so it doesn't need as high of a temperature than uh, ABS. Uh, yeah, it's it's at 60 percent, but it's uh, pretty far up. It's going to be a, a CG uh, uh, measuring device for uh, for RC planes. I have to print the other half, it's going to be an exact uh, opposite of this one, so uh, no big difference there, but uh, I'll show you the product when it's finished. Well here's the final result, looks good, very solid, and it sticks like crazy, so uh, yeah, just to remove it, easy as pie. Just 
shove your knife under it. There we go. And just gently pry it off. And don't do it in a rush, because then you'll get this a cracked little plate. So take your time. I ordered a new one, but I don't have it yet, so I'm still using this one. I just taped it to get it uh, to keep it in one piece. As you can see, it really, really sticks like crazy, and that's just what it's supposed to do, of course. I use this uh, ABS adhesion tape underneath it. This roll, I got it from Hobby King, and uh, supposed to make ABS stick, but it doesn't. So I don't trust them. Added some uh, glue stick to it as well. And there we go. One black bottom. See, and now you just there we go. You just peel it off. It needs a little bit of sanding to make it completely flat, but it also has to do with my belt plate because it's a little bit flexible now because it's cracked. But so this is not the best test. I'm just trying to show you guys that uh, you can make ABS stick on to PLA for good adhesion. So uh, that's about it. I'll be uh, printing the next part of this CG uh, balancer and. Uh, Hope you enjoyed watching this and uh, found it useful. Thanks for watching. Bye.